All right, boys and girls, happy Friday. And um, I have finished up pretty much for the uh, Aqua Rod uh, race team van. This is not the van that comes with that kit. Um, this is the 1976 Chevy van kit. And uh, I just liked all the custom parts on this van. Uh, this was a gift from my buddy Joey for Christmas, uh, I think two years ago. And I, I love vans. I built a couple other vans. And uh, of course, I like anything that has a trailer or pulls something too. So I, uh, when this, uh, this aqua rod team was reissued, I had to have it. So I love the boat. I'm working on the boat now. And the boat and trailer will match the van. <clears throat> Similar fade jobs. So, uh, but this is um, most of it straight out of the box with the exception of these uh, uh, tires and rims, which are uh, billet and photo etched parts. Uh, that was some old, old rims from, I think Mr. Model is the name of the company. And so uh, there's some really nice stuff, but everything else is pretty much right out of the box other than uh, I made a few little modifications. Uh, of course, I, I added this long whip antenna that I made out of guitar string. It's hard to even see on here. It had these little pissy antennas sticking up like CB mirror antennas, which I removed both of them because one broke off when I was taking them off the tree anyway, and the other one was so flimsy. And then the antenna that went back here on the rear, same thing, it was just it had covered with flash plastic and looked completely unrealistic. So uh, I just cut it off and drilled that out, the base out, and uh, used guitar string to hold that in there. But I, lo I love the custom windows. Of course, you got your sunroofs. Uh, I, I love these Nerf bars, uh, too. They're really cool. The bumpers, bumperettes on the front and the bumper in the rear, really well done. Um, uh, paint on this is House of Colors candy urethanes. Uh, I laid down a uh, Orion Silver base coat. And then from the bottom, uh, the darkest edge along the bottom is uh, faded in with uh, candy purple base coat, which is a blue purple. And then I used Candy Oriental Blue over top of that and then up across uh, midway through the van and then faded up into the silver. Then the whole thing was uh, top coated with uh, House of Colors Cosmic Clear. And I used kind of some of my trademark holographic flake in there, which you can see. Uh, as this thing is rotating, you can see it changes color. So all the little chrome door handles and everything were done with the Molotow pen, which I also use. At the end of my builds, that's pretty much the last thing I do is go around and look for any sprue uh, connections that I might have missed and touch those up. Um, so that's uh, that's about it. And I, I use that chrome pen to touch all that stuff up. Um, the sad thing is with all the stuff I did on the interior, you really can't see any of it. You can kind of see the bicycle the back window there and there's the toolbox going by um, you can't see in those windows at all from the front you you can see the cooler that's in there you can see the magazine on the console you can get a get a little view of that it's just hard to see everything inside of there then you can see the bike in the back there water cans and oil can way way back there but anyway so uh, this part of it is done I clear coated the um, uh, trailer tonight as well as the boat hull pieces. I did those. And uh, also, while I was at it, I clear coated uh, the uh, LA Street Chopper um, parts that I had done up in a purple base. And uh, same thing, I, I just blew a bunch of flake over the purple. I was going to do a bunch of. Uh, graphic work on it, but I like the purple so much just the way it looked, I, that's what I decided to go with. Uh, I think the only major thing that really bothers me on this is that you can see my aqua rod decals, they wrinkled a little bit. Uh, I've never had that happen uh, with this clear, and uh, of course it kind of gave an underwater look, but uh, that's the only thing that, the biggest goof on the whole thing, I guess. Everything else, uh, I think I told you guys early on, I had a lot of problems with the warp chassis. I did correct that. Uh, it's just a little off now. It, it wiggles just a little. There's just like maybe a millimeter and a half uh, left rear tire wants to stick off the ground. Just that little bit of a hair, that um, part. <coughs> um, 
but uh, probably by the time I get the boat and trailer hooked to it, I do still have to put the hitch down underneath of there, so I'm probably going to have to modify that some because it was not made for this van, but anyway, that's that's it. That's the build shot from the roof line there, and uh, I will keep you posted on the, the boat and trailer. The uh, trailer should go together in about five minutes once I get all the parts <laughs> finished and ready to go. Uh, I'm probably going to do one more coat of clear without flake on all of that to get it glassed out. I, that's what I did on this, just to smooth it all out. When you blow the, even these little tiny flakes, you get texture. So uh, that's I'm, I'm probably going to do that. I'll do some regular clear coat over everything. You can kind of see in that interior there just a little bit, some of the details. Anyway, okay, that's it for now. And uh, I'll keep you posted as the rest of the build progresses. Thanks for looking.